today I want to talk about, uh, well, a few things, but my hair, one, it's going to be a little crazy today. I know it's unusual. We're just going to keep going because that's life. Now, I want to talk about anti-vaxxers, but specifically Jimmy Dore or AKA Libtardo One or AKA Selfish Narcissist Stuck Up His Own Ass for two centuries, it seems like. So everyone you prefer. And first, I want to go to this clip from the 13th of the majority report talking about some CDC data. That is uh, self-preservation by the anti-vaxxers because they have made a horrible, horrible mistake that has got their audience uh, killed yeah. with uh, with uh, heart attack stuff. Um, I'm just switching over to the fun half now. Just give me a second. And oh, sure. uh, now we're fully over. Okay, so this is this graph here. Um, this is from CDC data. Bradley, if you can just maximize um, this here. And if you look at this closely, um, sudden cardiac deaths from the U.S. age 15 to 39, trailing 12-month data. If you look, the spike does not come. Yeah, look at the X-axis. It, axis. Do, it doesn't come um, after the vaccines are introduced, but after coronavirus itself mm -hmm. enters the population, you see a rise. Um, if you can just trace that for us, Bradley, a rise from about May 20, uh, March 20. 2020 or May 20. Yeah, 20. To May, and then um, it rises um, basically until the uh, vaccines come uh, yeah. <laughs> and sort of levels off. Mm. Uh, so what the situation we have here is the novel coronavirus has uh, led to, from my, what I can tell, uh, the sudden cardiac deaths because uh, we know that it has these uh, effects. And um, they have been downplaying this, calling it things like the flu, like Jimmy Dore called it the flu. Um, and all these people that said the vaccine is dangerous, actually, um, the, uh, the contrary to, and the virus is uh, the thing that's dangerous. I mean, uh, Eric Osgood says, uh, COVID virus likely killing people by damaging the heart, leading to subsequent sudden cardiac death, um, uh, more than being acknowledged. Mm. Vaccine is not causally linked, pretty much excluded causally to sudden cardiac deaths. So this is about a whole bunch of people um, who they need to go on the offense because the best defense is a good offense. But these folks are all guilty of uh, medical misinformation that likely got people killed by um, like, especially if you're going to care about these sudden uh, cardiac events, like that's I, honestly, it's like, well, what you need some way to explain it and the way that reality would explain it. And th this graph and basically anybody that understands the science here, besides a few uh, dozen quacks understand that the virus is what's going to cause that. But they, they've discounted that this yes. entire time and they've built media careers and they've, they've taken out mortgages based on media brands. And you, and, and someone like Jimmy Dore, for example, has tried to build a brand on being pro worker and how the Democrats are elitist. And yet at the same time, he was advocating for, uh, against the union's will teachers in Chicago and other areas of the country to return to work, despite their concerns about the virus. He was so calling like, it just a flu. Well, to here is Jimmy doing just that. There's a big debate about whether they should open the schools uh, because of COVID and because of Omicron is so much more contagious. Uh, Omicron, the symptoms of Omicron are very mild and they're like uh, they're like a cold. Um, and a lot of people are saying that's good because that signals the end of the pandemic, because now we're going to become endemic and now it will just circulate. And the symptoms that it will present with are those of a cold. Even though it's not, it's the Omicron cold. So everybody's shitting their pants about kids having to go to school are just repeating propaganda from big pharma funded establishment news. I'll tell you what I think. We should keep them open and kids should be going to schools. Yeah, I worked through the pandemic, Jimmy. Still am. And I had a co-worker. And he didn't get a chance to throw the kitchen sink at it. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z -Pak, uh prednisone, everything. None of that because he was poor. All he got was lies, people like you, and a ventilator to freaking die on. 
And everybody just moved on. Act like it never happened. Because there's people out there like you, Jimmy. Who keep acting like, oh, COVID wasn't that big a deal. It's actually not that damaging. And the vaccines come around and you're like, oh, actually, the vaccines are the one thing that's damaging. Because all I have is alcoholism and money. Speaking about Jimmy Dore here. Now we're going to go to Jimmy talking to an expert. Who is this guy again? Let me think. Steven Todd Kirsch is an American entrepreneur. He has started several companies as one of two people who independently invented the optical mouse. Glad you, you got him. Great expert. Just let that sink in for a second. And so my question to the CDC is, hey, guys, if the vaccine didn't kill those people, then what did? Cool. And nobody in the entire world can answer that what? question. God, where the hell's my fourth bottle of Jack Daniel? Oh, wait. Fuck COVID. Uh, I mean, fuck workers. I mean, shit. Um, workers COVID ain't real. I think I got it that time. COVID, why are there all these excess deaths? And so nobody knows why. Okay, so I went on next door and, and I wrote. Nextdoor Holdings Inc. is an American company which operates a hyperlocal social networking service for neighborhoods. Users of Nextdoor are required to submit their real names and addresses to the website. Nextdoor Holdings Inc. Nextdoor has been criticized on a variety of grounds, including for allegedly enabling its users to racially profile people of color. Oh, Jimmy's expert is using Nextdoor for some data. Which might be like what you do if you want to show how to not get data. Like the most unreliable source. Just bunch full bunch of racist fears and shit on there. Nice job, Jimmy. You hack. Next door, and, and I wrote, hey, looking for success stories on, on how well the Vax is going. Anybody know of any success stories at all? And I got lots of likes. And I got not a single response. Okay, you psychos. Um, I'm a success story. Three of my friends are a success story. I only have three friends. Uh, people I live with are a success story. Joe Biden's a success story. You're a success story, Jimmy. Tucker Carlson's a success story. Freaking everyone over there on Fox is a fucking success story. But lastly... I'm going to show something Jimmy said recently about Marjorie Taylor Greene, which is the most insane psychobabble logic I've ever seen come out of his mouth. Although that'll probably get one up sooner or later by Jimmy. They say Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene is a big conspiracy theorist and a nut job and crazy and nobody should ever listen to her. One, Jimmy, you ain't pulling that hat off. I didn't think you'd get any creepier, but that hat does it. Two, that's all true. What you just said about MTG. Holy shit, every day she's in office. It's like, oh, no wonder we're not a serious country. <laughs> it's weird, though, that she's out lefting the left all the time. She was out lefting the squad on Ukraine. She's out lefting them on COVID, and she's telling the truth. No, she ain't. Yeah, here, here we go. Here we go. Here's a big old left position. Don't let workers die from COVID. That's why we got a union at Amazon now, Jimmy. Because workers had to freaking rouse up themselves. Not like people like you are going to help. So she says, remember when they told you not to take ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine to help you with COVID? I remember that. I remember when they told us that. They threatened to take away doctors and pharmacists' license if they prescribed it. I remember that. My doctor told me that, and it was very hard to, for people to get prescriptions of ivermectin. Oh, yeah. That's probably because ivermectin didn't do much for COVID, and people actually needed it for deworming, anti-parasitic. And y'all, you, and all the people you talk to, were buying it all up. Also, just, just, just a little question here, Jimmy. Why is the vaccine under Big Pharma umbrella, but ivermectin isn't? 
Doesn't make any sense, Jimmy. So they owe answers, and I'll be asking. So she turns out she's right about that. And when someone's right about something, no matter if you disagree with them on every other thing, you should try to prop them up. Kind of psycho. Yeah, that's that, Jimmy. You know, you know Gingis kind of might rape some people, but he was very open to religion, which, you know, all forms of religion, which I am too. So I should prop him up. Uh, Hitler was trying to descale, like, tobacco use, which, you know, even though I'm a smoker, I agree with that too. Uh, so that's the one thing I need to know about Hitler. I'm going to prop him up. Freaking Trump, he uh he had a good idea about Trump. Shit. Oh, this is where I'm gonna end it. And basically the point of this Jimmy cares about alcohol and money and has gotten people killed, in my opinion. He's a terrible human being. And, you know, this world's a terrible place, but worth fighting for, I believe. I really hope you all have a good day.